All right, what is up, everybody? We are back at it again with our Pokemon Crystal Randomized Nuzlocke, and we're getting ready to take on Victory Road. We did our last and final grind session to level 50 offline grind. We're not going to do any more offline grinding for the rest of this series. So now it's up to us to uh, win or lose, uh, deal with the consequences. And this is our encounter. Hopefully it's something really good. Oh, if only you could evolve in this gen. How disappointing. But anyways, I'm officially back from vacation as well, so hopefully everybody's doing all right. I'm so happy to be back. Vacation's fun, but it's always nice to be at home relaxing. So, hopefully uh, the new year is going well for everybody. I obviously cannot complain. Had a wonderful ski trip and all that. And then the uh, the day this goes up, we are also doing a uh, a new Pokemon ROM hack series as well. So if you guys are interested in ROM hacks and stuff like that, like fan made games and stuff, check out my other content. We uh, took a run through Pokemon Radical Red. It went all right. I was happy with the uh, the progress we made. We didn't. I won't. Uh, I won't spoil. But it was a good run, personally. We'll definitely have to tackle it again someday. And a lot of healing items. It's always super nice. No item there. Oh, I would love I would have loved a Venusaur on the team, bro. Venusaur would have been freaking sick. But yeah, lots lots to do and catch up with. I have a lot of comments. I've been I've been trying to keep up with the comments on all the videos and all the love and support y'all been giving me while I'm on vacation. So if I didn't comment back to you, I apologize. So I didn't have my laptop or anything really with me when I win. It looks like there'd be an item here, but of course there ain't. Not a whole lot of trainers in here either. I I might be mixing up uh, red, blue, and yellow's elite or victory road with this one. This one, there was more more action. I think it might be time to use a Super Repel. Not that I mine all the Venusaurs, because they're, they're good XP, but I spent hours killing them to grind, so... Or, not killing them, but Pokemon, wild Pokemon, to go grind. To say, are we? We shouldn't be almost at the exit already, are we? Let's see what this is. Oh, we're actually full, and it's just a soft sand. I don't think we actually have any Pokemon with ground type moves that I can think of, so. We're free to go. Time to absolutely decimate this man. I'm sorry, Cake. Let's come down to this. Bro leads off with a freaking Celebi, dude. But we're a little overleveled. Maybe I shouldn't have grinded so much. By the way, if y'all don't like it when I grind offline to like boost our levels a little bit, 
please let me know because I, I won't do it anymore. I'll grind in the episodes if you want. I just feel like that's really boring content. Maybe I'm wrong. If y'all want to see that, I, I mean, I can upload it. Or the grind sessions. It's literally something we can be like getting everybody to 50, I think, took about two and a half hours. I wasn't constantly just grinding them, of course. I was doing other stuff. So. But if that's something y'all are interested in, I won't do the offline uh, grind sessions anymore. There we go. Dude. I wish we could have caught a Kadabra. It's honestly my favorite, one of my favorite Pokemon. I like Alakazam too, but ever since I was little, I've always loved Kadabra. And it's not just because I'm a Gen 1-er. There are other Pokemon. Like, my favorite Legendary of all time is probably Dialga. Either that or Giratina. It's Gen 4, though. Gen 4 had the best Legendaries, in my opinion. Except for, like, the trio, Uxie, Misprit, and Azelf, they were kind of meh. To that, I'd probably have to give it to the... to Johto, the dogs, or cats, depending on the wild beasts, were much better. There we go. The later gen legendaries, I'd probably, if I had to go with any legendary after gen 4 that I liked most, probably a Veltal. It just looks super cool. And its shiny looks amazing. Like, one of the best shinies I've seen. Alright, normally I would end an episode right before the Elite Four. But since the Elite Four isn't even the final of this, we're just gonna go and take him on. Like, we're gonna go directly in. We just gotta sell some items. Feeling pretty confident with all our heals that we have. Because we have a lot of healing items. I didn't mean to try to sell those. Keep that. Uh, let's keep the black belt. We'll actually give that to Primate real quick. Or Luis, I'm sorry. Oh, he has a scope lens right now. Why don't we give that to Kyle? Or should we give... Let's give that to Mark. And since Kyle has strength, we give him the polka dot. There, now everybody has an item. Let's go. I feel like we can probably make it through a good portion of the Elite Four. I'm thinking at least two. Depending on what Pokemon they have. Like, if they have, like, Wobbuffets and stuff, gotta play it safe. I didn't. For I forgot that we also have Slash other than Shrank, so the Polka Dot Boom might have been best on Kyle anyway. That's cute. Isn't gonna mean anything. Also, thank you for not putting us to sleep. Uh, course not. I don't really think we have much for Corsa, to be honest. We don't really have a ground type or electric type, so we gotta bring out the goat. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, so close. But nah, 
I won't lie, I did still, uh, while on vacation, I still also gamed. I, uh, I brought my uh, Nintendo Switch with me, and I was playing Animal Crossing, which I haven't played in freaking forever. I'm trying to get my girlfriend addicted to it as well. <laughs> uh, if I could stream on my Switch, which I haven't figured out how to do yet, eventually I will, so... I just gotta... I think I have to get a mic and stuff for that as well. Because I don't think the one I have is uh, capable on Switch. I'll have to look into that a bit more. But if y'all are interested in that, I can definitely try my best for that. Uh, yeah, they're not really a good choice for this. We'll send out Kenya. This guy can have psychic type moves. Speak of the devil. That's why I didn't want to send out uh, Primate. He's kind of squishy. Do we get a one shot? Damn. So close. We do have a very broken team, though. I'm honestly thinking about running with only two Pokemon eventually, just until we get to red. Especially if we're not doing any more offline grinding. We might just run Kenya and Matt. I'm thinking about just running those two. Not that I don't like Kyle. I love Kyle, but... Honestly, Articuno takes forever to level up, and Kenya gets the, the boosted level up, so he he's a shoe in I just wish he didn't hit himself every time. Brother, come on. Come on, bro. Told you, man. He has, uh, he has issues. I'm kind of surprised that Charizard has more HP than Kenya, though. Come on, bro. Stop hitting yourself. Damn, dude, that's three in a row. What are the odds of that? Four in a row. Kenya is honestly just trying to kill himself. Especially after I said I'd choose him over Kyle. Ugh. Uh, yeah, we can stay in against that. As long as it doesn't use hypnosis and then curse. Ooh, so close with the one shot. Well, let's make sure we don't miss. I think Metal Claw has like a 5 or 10% chance of missing. Could be wrong about that, but better safe than sorry. Heck yeah. Alright, let's swap Kenya to the front. Since we want to use Kenya a bit more throughout the rest of the series. See if we can get him a bit more levels. Alright, let's go. Honestly, I know we're higher level, but I don't feel like we're over leveled, if that makes sense. Just because their Pokemon are so bulky in this one. Nice choice. Let's see. Let's test out the waters with the Metal Claw. Not bad. Alright, Kenya, I'm begging you. Do not get confused. Bro. If Kenya hits himself, I'm so done. <laughs> Kenya! 
Why? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, Kenya just, just does not care, bro. He's trying to kill himself. We can't have that. I think the odds of even getting confused by, uh, by Sidebeam are only like 10% too. It could be 30, but I think it's only 10. That's ridiculous. That's right, Matt can come in and clean up shop for a little bit. Did I just send out Kyle against a uh, Slowbro? Yeah, I did. You know what? Let's, let's not doubt Kyle. Let's not doubt him. I think he's got this. Damn, the thing is thick. Can Slash get the crit? Maybe it doesn't have a water type move. Okay. At least our bro, or uh, our boy Kyle, isn't getting confused. Alright, call it right now. Max potion. Nope. Cool. That was super surprising. Honestly, I also love Pupitar. I love the design of, like, Larvitar, Pupitar, and Tyranitar. And Mega Tyranitar is probably one of my favorite designed Megas. Don't really like using him too much, but he's honestly probably one of the cooler ones. <sighs> yeah, we'll go back up to Kyle. As long as this guy doesn't use self-destruct, I think we'll be okay. And... Out of here, let's go. Might have to switch that up to Kyle and frickin' Matt, dude. Because Kenya just wants to freaking kill himself. For mods that we run after this point. I won't lie, if Kyle can get Earthquake or a ground type move that actually is decent, even Magnitude would be great, and we can get Matt an electric type move, that'd be. we'd be set. All right, let's heal our Mons again, and then we'll move on. The only reason I don't, like I said, if we will probably move, the only reason I want to move down to three Mons, it's less training to do, uh, less Mons to keep track of. And honestly, like I said, Articuno takes too long. Louis, Primeape is so squishy. Like, you wouldn't think he's that squishy, but he's unbelievably squishy. All right, we'll do this last one. See if we can uh, beat him. We're actually steamrolling these guys. But again, we are overleveled for them. I think the only one we won't be overleveled for is probably Lance. And Lance and Karen, at least, I think.
Easy money. Uh, Kyle should be able to handle Steelix. I know we're quad weak to the rock, but... Steel and fire do not mix well. It should be a one-shot. Let's go. We'll try Slash. See if that polka dot bow will kick in for it. That's not good. <sighs> Alright, just in case he has Dream Meter. Alright, Slash, don't miss. No! Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. Ugh. Alright, Kenya. I need you to avenge Kyle. Cause he just got done dirty, my guy. I'm happy. I'm so happy he went for the crit there. It doesn't really matter, though. Ugh. God, that irritates me. I can't believe we lost Kyle to a freaking Stantler. I didn't even think we were in cr crit territory, man. I thought we were fine. Oh. Well, that happens. We definitely just need to get Kenya a better moveset. I feel like if we can teach Kenya some better moves, Kenya can easily replace Charizard. Only problem is is trying to find those moves because our we have no luck with TMs, let's be honest. That wasn't too bad. I mean, one, one, one team member for three Elite Four members, not bad. If y'all made it this far into the episode, though, thank y'all so much. I'm so happy to be back from vacation, and I really hope you all enjoyed the content and keep enjoying the content. I'll see you all next time. Stay safe. Stay well.